So this is the lyric of a Telugu song called I Wanna Follow Follow You. And the English translation of all the Telugu parts is in red. And as you can see, it's the hero talking about how he wants to follow, 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 follow the heroine multiple times because she is beautiful or because she's a naughty girl. And it's not just about the har it's not just uh, the harassment, but even the objectification. So look at this. I have a right over you. You're my delight. If I stop you in your path, then don't be shocked. So you see, these, mo these are all songs from different movies. And now, when I'm talking about this objectification or harassment, I'm, not, I'm talking about how these are being romanticized in these movies. And I'll show you what I mean. This was the song that I want to follow, follow, follow you. And you see the hero walking behind the girl in a very romantic and aesthetic background and two people behind them and they're dancing while they do this. And even this one, this was the second song I showed you. It's called Tu Mere Agal Bagal Hai. And you see both of them seem so happy with this when the hero is actually talking about how the heroine is his property. And this always confused me. And sometimes it wasn't just about the woman, but it was also how the hero tended to ignore law enforcement or tended to ignore what legislate or tended to ignore any sort of legislation. So I'm talking about when the hero goes and just kills the villain because the villain came and said something to him. I mean, why do we have police officers? Why do we have lawyers for that when you can just go and kill someone? And I understand this from the perspective of a movie producer. I mean, if I was watching a movie, would I rather would I sit there just watching the hero calling the police every time something happens? Or would I watch a plot packed full of fight scenes and punchlines and just dramatic explosions like this? Wouldn't you rather watch something like this than having Shah Khan sit there calling the police every time something happens? So this is, so it's, it's these sort of things that always confused me as I watched all these movies. And after that, I came, it, I came to this question. What are movies really trying to tell us? Are they trying to tell us we can live in an alternate reality where we just ignore anything, or we just, where we just ignore these sort of laws, these legislations, or just, and that we can treat women in whatever manner we wish to? And my answer for this is yes. And I'm not saying this is done on purpose, but intentional or un unintentional, these sort of ideas are being spread through movies, and the, and, and these, move, these ideas are being spread through movies, and one's understanding of what's being shown in a movie is different. Because every time I brought this up to someone, they always told me, we know it's wrong, but that's easy for us to say, because we, because we are aware of these sort of laws. We are aware that doing something like this is illegal in some cases. And when I was thinking about this, I also realized that, you know, not all of us are educated about these things. So, for example, let's just, I want all of you to imagine that you're just a common Indian. Doesn't matter what creed you are, what your caste is, your race, your gender, your level of education. Actually, your education extended only to the mathematics and sciences. Nothing more than that. And you go and you watch a movie, and you see your favorite hero doing what he does best. His stylish walks, his killing of the villain, and of course, his harassing of the hero and following her wherever she goes until she ends up falling in love with him. And you see, that, what if I understood this in a way that if I follow the girl I think is you know, really pretty or something, that she, will end up, that she will fall in love with me and we'll just have her happily ever after. So this is what I wanted to talk about. And um, like how, like this understanding, like I mentioned before, this understanding is different. And that these ideas can subconsciously come into our brain. So this is a report published by Medical Daily in which they talk about how, wh how one becomes obsessed with their, with their favorite fictional characters and that every, the traits and characteristics of this character enters their subconscious. And that, because of, and that they tend to adopt and become very similar to that character. And so this is, um, and, um, this is called, this phenomenon is called experience taking when you're acting very similar to these heroes. So now, um, we've sort of identified the issue here, right? That movies keep spreading these ideas and that people's understanding of these ideas is very different and they can be taken in a very negative or illegal way. So now, I wanted to know what we could do about this. So what I think is that we can make use of the principle of 
subliminal learning or subliminal conditioning. And this means, and this is basically a principle where you, where movies or any sort of, or any sort of um, book or something like that tends to show an idea which is not directly embedded in, into that sort of piece. In, despite this not being part of the main plot, it still subconsciously enters one's brain and they understand and this makes them think that such, th and this sort, and over time, if they keep looking at these ideas which slowly enter their subconscious, it makes them, it helps shape their mind or their thoughts. And this has been seen in movies as well. So this is a movie called Na Banga Ritali, which is a movie about sex trafficking and about a girl who is forced into this. But at the beginning of the movie, there is a scene where she sees a little boy taking a little girl, and we don't know what happens, but we know it's something wrong because the girl, the little girl kept screaming no, and it was clearly some, an act of, no con, of non-consent. And the heroine goes and stops the boy, and she says, what are you doing? And he says, I saw, this on a, I saw this on TV, so what's wrong in it? And the heroine then takes time to explain that doing this was wrong and why it was wrong. The people are beginning to realize that this objectification or ignoring of legislations is, is happening in, through these movies. And for example, this is, the, this is from the block, worldwide blockbuster Bahuvali. And this is a song called Pacha Bote Sina. And it's a song about a girl who was drugged. She was stripped of her clothes. And a tattoo was drawn on her by the hero. And she sings this love with him. She sings and talks about how she's in love with him because of this. So I was shocked. I was appalled when I saw this. And as usual, I thought no one would care and just act like, oh, it's just a movie or something. But this was a symbol of hope for me because I understood that India was changing. And it wasn't just this, but it was also more feminist movies. There were more movies about how women can be independent, how we should treat women and treat them with respect. And even movies about, and there were a lot of movies coming up nowadays which talk about, which show the hero actually taking assistance of the police and finding a solution. So with that, I believe India, India has hope for change and has potential and that this change is happening but it needs to be at a faster rate and that we need to force this change. Otherwise, we're just going to end up with a bunch of guys follow, 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 following girls wherever they go. Thank you.